Welcome back once again, Spazites, to what has been a way too long of a hiatus for me. I apologize for those of you who do look forward to my videos. And for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, uh, thanks for coming to visit my little corner of the internet. This is Gizmo Spaz, and um, yes, today we have before us Transformers the Movie Studio Series 86 number 7. Dinobot Slug with Daniel Witwicky. Uh, a little faceless Daniel Witwicky who uh, doesn't transform if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into him. I've already gotten Grimlock. I just got this guy uh, in the mail from China. Um, I found him online pretty cheap from Ally Express. Uh, not sponsored. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and review him. As you can see in the background here, for those of you who watch a lot, I've removed a lot of my desk bots just because they were getting very, very cluttered. And uh, you see in there in the back corner there, I have a few uh, upcoming reviews that I'll be going over. But for today, we've got Leader Class Dinobot Slug. So I'm going to go ahead and get him out of his plastic and cardboard prison, and we'll be right back after a quick cut. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Here is Slug and Daniel Witwicky out of their plastic and cardboard prison. I'm not very keen on his vibrant red head. I feel like he should have a black head just like... Uh, Grimlock, and um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be cartoon accurate or original toy accurate as far as the red head. Um, I think there's an upgrade kit that could give him a black head. Uh, I know there's an upgrade kit that gives him uh, different colored horns for his Triceratops mode. I believe they're gold instead of this color, or they're red, which uh, would make sense. Um, <clears throat> anyway... He comes with a gun and Daniel Witwicky, and that's it. Uh, no swords, unfortunately. I wish that that... Oh, wow, that gun does not want to go into that fist. That is a really snug <clears throat> fit. Maybe it'll go in the other fist better. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wow, it does not want to go in there very well at all. Yikes. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, just like any of the other uh, Studio Series figures, he doesn't have any blue points or... And his weapon doesn't even... can't even hold uh, the, the blast effects, unfortunately. I really wish they had have added that, especially with all of the uh, explosions and firing we got to see in the, uh, the movie itself. I'm a little disappointed at how loose his backpack is. That's very disappointing to me. Uh, I'm also not exactly sure how it's supposed to go. I think the tail is supposed to go up. Let me look at the instructions here and see how the instructions have it. Um, no, I think the tail is down on the backpack. Okay, the tail is down on the backpack, which is fine. And I know he's supposed to have, like, wings. So, I guess that's how the backpack is supposed to go. Anyway, let's have a look at all of his, uh, his articulation. Um, unfortunately, he's got this big shell over his head, which moves a little bit. I'm assuming for transformation. But his head can rotate 360 degrees around, but it's pointless considering that he can't see 360 degrees around. So <laughs> there is that. Uh, he's got this loose chest piece that wants to open up. Uh, his head doesn't really lock into place, unfortunately. It's on this hinge joint here, and it just wants to kind of float there. So that's a little unfortunate as well. I'm finding a lot of issues with this figure already, unfortunately. <laughs> Fortunately, I did not pay that much over MSRP for it. Um, so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> anyway, he's got full ratcheted shoulders, which is pretty cool. And he can do a little bit of a shrug with the shoulders. They're on a, a, a cool... Um, I forgot what kind of joint that's called. Uh, he does have... Bicep swivel, 360, and more than 90 degree elbow bend, 
His fists also can rotate 360 degrees and collapse into the, uh, the foot of the dinosaur mode for transformation. But let's wait until we actually transform him for that, because I'm not sure if something opens up. Yeah, something does open up for that. This, I think. No, never mind. I don't know. <laughs> I'll find out when I transform him. Anyway, he's got <laughs> waist swivel. Uh, 360 degree waist swivel. It is tight. He's got some nice ratcheting hips. He can bend his knees more than 90 degrees, which is awesome. Looks like a double jointed knee joint, which is pretty cool. He can kick this far forward, this far back. Let's see, can he do the splits? He can do the splits. And he has ankle tilt. Yay, ankle tilt is the best. Plus, he has some uh, combat ports on the bottom of his feet. Um, other than here on his shoulders, I believe those are the only combat ports. Oh no, he's got a combat port on his back on the center shoulder here too, which is pretty cool. I'm glad they incorporated some combat ports into him. They didn't have to, but they did. Yay. Uh, anyway, let's look at our little Daniel Witwicky. He is the same kind of posability as... A really qua crappy, quappy, <laughs> a really crappy wheelie figure that came with uh, Grimlock. And I actually have the two, so you can look at them side by side. Yeah, no knee bending. It's just really disappointing. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if Daniel is supposed to sit on his shoulder like Wheelie is supposed to sit on Grimlock's shoulder. Um... Wheelie has this nub on the underside of his leg that's supposed to go to Grimlock's shoulder. I do see that same thing here. So Daniel is supposed to sit up here on... Oh, he actually sits. That's good. I couldn't get Wheelie to sit on Grimlock's shoulder, and he can sit on Slug's shoulder, so yay, there's that. And uh, i got to be careful, I don't want to break that little pin off, that would suck. And uh, yeah, that's all for articulation. I'll go ahead and bring Grimlock in here so we can look at the two side by side again. Um, I wish that he had a black gun just like Grimlock does. Instead he's got this silver gray gun. But, <clears throat> what can you do? I know there are upgrade kits for these guys, so I'm not too upset about it. But here he is next to Grimlock. Of course Grimlock is a little bit bigger. Um, he is the biggest Dinobot. Uh, I'm assuming Swoop is also going to be a leader class, although I could see them making him a large Voyager class. Um, but they're probably going to try and get a leader class price out of him anyway, just so that we can get all five Dinobots as leader class. Um, I do need to get Slash still. And then we've got the new Scar Dinobot from the, uh, the uh, Legends, or Core series, Core class. And I have three out of six of those. Uh, I'm going to wait until I find all six of them to do my reviews on the Core class Dinobots. But anyway, there they are, side by side. You can see Grimlock's shoulders are a little higher, but overall Slug is a little taller because he's got that, uh, that upper jaw carapace over his head, or whatever you want to call that. But anyway, I'm going to do another quick cut, and we will be right back with Slug in his Triceratops mode. Or, um, Triceratops, yeah, his beast mode, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, be right back. Thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, stick with me. Here is Studio Series Slug with Daniel riding atop, uh, using the little clips that are actually supposed to, uh, to hold him in place. You, uh, you notch them into there when he's uh, sitting like this, and it actually works. Um, I did manage to get a uh, wheelie attached to Grimlock in beast mode as well, which I was not able to do before, but there, now he can actually pick Slug up using his exosuit if you wanted. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, Slug's weapon storage is... Uh, in his tail for beast mode. And uh, yeah, he's got movable legs. 
He's got some knees that bend, some more knees that bend, and more ratcheted moving legs, as well as he maintains his bicep swivel. For uh, beast mode, there is no extra swivel in the back here. We do have an opening and closing mouth. Um, <clears throat> Got to be careful, though, because the head is actually... Uh, I, I believe that's the head in there, so yeah. <clears throat> but he can open and close his mouth some. And uh, I believe there is a third-party blast effect for him as well, so that it looks like he's shooting fire. Because I think all the Dinobots can shoot fire. I'm not sure. But there he is, Slug, in all of his Dinobot glory. Um, the Dinobots appeared more in the cartoons as their beast modes than they did as their... Uh, robot modes, so I'm tempted to keep them in beast mode, even though they look really cool in robot modes, lined up standing behind Optimus. Um, <sighs> right now I'm running out of room on my shelves, but... <laughs> uh, here he is next to Grimlock, obviously a lot shorter, but longer. So... And then you can see I got, I actually got Wheelie perched atop Grimlock's shoulder uh, using the little peg. Uh, you can also put him the other way too, but I thought that would have uh, obscured his his uh, slingshot or made him slingshot off to the side instead of in front. But anyway, here they are, my first two Dinobots. I do have Sludge coming up. Um, I'll probably do him next. I'm not sure. This is my first uh, video after a while. Pardon me for all that. <laughs> uh, this is my first video for for a while uh, that uh, that I've done in a while, and uh, I do apologize for my absence again. For anyone who likes to watch my videos, I appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, that's been it for the Studio Series eighty six oh seven Slug and Daniel Witwicky. <laughs> we will be doing Sludge next, uh, I think. And, uh, yeah. So, st tune in for that. Uh, if you are, um... Oh, man. It's been too long since I've done this. <laughs> oh, I apologize, everybody. <laughs> oh, um, oh, wow. I need to rethink this. Okay, I've had a moment to gather my thoughts. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a comment down below. Feel free to like and all that good stuff. If you really like my video and you're not already, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do and to help me grow my channel. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, last I checked, I'm at uh, 925. So uh, we are getting there slowly but surely. Um... But yeah, uh, yeah, please subscribe if you're not already. Uh, help me grow my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And that all having been said, until next time, uh, don't forget to be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and when you go out, please be safe. Yeah, bye. Okay, that's enough out of me. <laughs>